Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. So I just came back from the supermarket and I have to say Sweden became so incredibly, incredibly expensive. The thing that became the most expensive in Sweden is electricity. For example, my neighbor here, they live in a normal Swedish house. Last month, they paid 20,000 Taiwanese dollars for electricity. My salary from Taiwan, is, you know, I used to feel like I'm kind of okay, like I have some money, but now I feel like becoming so, so, so super poor. I wanted to share with you guys some of the prices now compared to one year ago. A year ago already one package of butter is 48 and we feel like oh my god butter is getting so expensive. How come it getting so expensive? And now the price of butter is 75. So it's more than 50% increase and for us you know butter is super important. We are using butter basically for everything. This one used to be 42 one year ago. It used to be 42. Now it's 66. The cheese getting super expensive. 50% increase of cheese. Bread used to be 30. Now it is 50. Yogurt that I love to eat also it's about 50% increase. Uh, vegetables generally I check it's about 30% off, especially onion a bit more than 30% is really really so expensive. It's only one thing in the whole supermarket that didn't change the price and it is the thing Swedish people love the most and it is to buy potatoes. So uh, <laughs> you know we're gonna become a starving country again that only relies on potatoes. Very simple Swedish style sandwich. And now the starting cost for this, you know, the bread, uh, 150, the butter, more than 200, the cheese, more than 300, it's something like 700 in the starting cost. Then of course you can make a lot of sandwich for this, but 700 just to make a simple sandwich. You know, I'm coming back from Taiwan and it's the first time I'm feeling like I'm kind of poor, like I cannot afford uh, the, this country anymore. The thing that is getting really crazily, crazily expensive in Sweden is electricity. I think there is only one thing I can do. Okay, so I'm walking on the road, the weather became really fantastic. I bring my shovel. So the place I am walking to now, it is my favorite place in the whole world. It's the one place where we cannot use any electricity because there is no electricity, only wood for heating. And the place is, oh my God, I'm so excited. I'm running in the snow here. So excited. The place we are going to is of course my summer house. Then I'm gonna shovel away some of the snow and make a fire and then we can live some life without electricity. Let's go. It's so nice to be back here, but it is so cold. I want to make up a fire really quickly.
when the food price is getting so high and the electricity price is getting so high, then what can I do? I can only escape to my summer house where there is no electricity, there is no internet, there is no heat. <laughs> yeah, it's only, of course, I need to make my own fire here. And actually, it is. Uh, it sounds like you know making heat with fire. It sounds like hundred years ago, but actually, it's quite smart. It's kind of, kind of economical because all of the trees comes from my father's forest. So you know we can just cut down the tree and then let it dry for a while, and we can make a fire like this. It's amazing. And um, for the food, I'm so grateful and happy that I brought these Taiwanese noodles. I'm always uh, bringing the Nyoromian. It's my favorite flavor. I didn't bring any chopsticks, so I have to eat like this. In Taiwan, I eat a lot of different instant noodles, but here in Sweden, oh my god. Sorry, guys. Oh my god, you know. Uh, this Nyoromian, it really fits so well together in Sweden. So I'm so happy that, uh, you know, Taiwan also is saving my economy. Didn't have to buy any food. I've only been in Sweden for one week, but it feels like I've been gone for so long time. You can see how cold it is here because of all of the steam. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Oh my god. This tastes so amazing. The good thing about this new Roman is that I got like chunks of meat. Now I don't find any, but there should be some chunks in there. Now yeah, I got one. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. So the reason that Sweden has become so expensive, the first reason is of course inflation after Covid, that is felt everywhere in the world, I know in the US they have a lot of problem, everywhere in Europe they have a lot of problem for this. Uh, also in Taiwan, I think also Taiwan has some inflation, but for me, I think in my everyday life in Taiwan I really don't notice, because if I go to some restaurant and I eat a bento for 100, for me it's so uh, super cheap, you know, I think oh, 100 is amazing, so now maybe the race of 120, and still for me it's like, so cheap compared to Swedish restaurants that raise their price from 300 to maybe 450 and then I feel, oh my god, it is really painful to go to the Swedish restaurants now. Uh, but I know that Charlie also complained in Taiwan because she said, oh, this Luro Fan used to be 30 and now it's 35. I mean, like, well, you can get the Luro Fan for 35, shouldn't you be like super happy? I mean, it's, it's, it's some great food. I think I need to put on another log. Mm. And the second reason is, of course, because of the war uh, that Russia attacked uh, Ukraine. The big way that we really notice this is that the electricity prices are going really crazy. Because Europe used to import a lot of natural gas from Russia. We are very dependent, I think, especially Germany. And, uh, of course, because of the war, Russia said we don't want to sell any more natural gas. And Europe said we don't want to buy any more natural gas. So now uh, it's getting like we can produce too little electricity. So the prices are getting very, very high. Uh, and the price went up up from 0 0.5 for one kilowatt hour to eight. So it is 16 times the price to heat your house. And then my neighbor or my friend who use electricity to heat up their house and then they get the electricity bill and they're checking like, oh my God, it's 20,000 or it's 35,000. It's, it's a Taiwanese salary basically. And also for the Swedes, maybe the salary here is a little bit high, but you know, 35,000, and this is not for your rent. This is for your electricity. So people in Sweden are getting really, really shocked because the electricity became so expensive. Now my father's wood also become really, really valuable because so many people ask him like, oh, I want to buy some wood because I want to heat up my house or so the house, the price for and every kind of fuel. So, so you know, everything is so so everything like affects uh, each other so I think anyway for my parents they don't have that really super big struggle but of course all of the food is so expensive so I'm really so <laughs> happy <laughs> that I brought, brought a lot of instant noodles I think it's really really tasty it's also kind of cheap and it fits you know it's so warm spicy it fits really really well uh, to eat here in Sweden I think Okay, so I finished my instant noodles. Now it was super tasty. Now I feel a little bit like I'm warmed up inside. Uh, and in today's video, I wanted to give a little update. Basically, I was shocked. When I went to the supermarket, I was shocked to see this price. I was really, really shocked. And also when I hear about the electricity price, I'm shocked. So I wanted to give a little update. Also escape here to my summer house, make a fire, eat some uh, Taiwanese food. And I think it really kind of saves my life and saves my economy. So um, yeah. If you like this uh, kind of video, please leave a like, please leave a comment, please subscribe to my channel, it really helps a lot. Thank you so much for watching, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.